Hi, I'm Frank from Frank's Backyard Barbecue. I've uh, been cooking with uh, cast iron for quite some, some time, and um, I've started restoring these, uh, these cast iron for last year. So several of my friends have asked me to uh, make a video of it, and of how I go about it, and how do I bring it from the rusty point to brand new again, and start cooking with it. Well, so far right now, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is uh, these bacon uh, presses. One's uh, a little bit bigger than the other one, and heavier, and then this one, and then wood. We'll go ahead and, and restore these back to uh, good condition that you can use to cook on there. And then uh, the modern uh, lodge is pretty much rusty. And then it's a SK, it's a 10SK with a new one, not a vintage one. But my uh, nice find that I got that I really like to see is this A and B and I. It's pretty much rusty, I have a little bit of crud here. We're gonna go ahead and take all this off and make it brand new. And what I really like about it is this right here, where it says American cookware. A little big old sailboat. This is uh, made in the USA on there. And this is a nice, very rare vintage one. A, B, and I are still in business. They've been in business for over 100 years, but they don't make uh, cast irons anymore. So uh, roughly this is probably within about 1950s, 60s, uh, when they basically stopped. Unless you know anything else, uh, put it in the comment and let me know. But I'm still re researching. This is a 15 inch uh, skillet that I love. I also have a lodge well, these are all rusted out. You can see them out. I also have a lodge that I restored, and I use it like crazy. And this is how it looks when I restored it. And I, I do a lot of cooking on this one. A lot of scrambled eggs and potatoes and everything else. That's one of my 15s. And this is my little hash brown, how it came out. And it came out pretty, pretty good. And it's, it has a rough, rough surface, but it's smooth and an egg slide and everything on there. But what I'm doing on this one, it's just basically all rusted. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of crud on there or uh, carbon buildup. We're going to go ahead and do uh, uh, oil, I mean uh, water and vinegar. Put it in the tank, put it in the mixer, and leave it there for about a day. Check it out the next, you know, put it in there. Leave it for, I usually leave it for a whole day. Let it all soak in. All that, all that rust comes right on out. I know some people say uh, 30, 30 minutes and so, you know, you're going to need, but I leave it there, let it all day, and sometimes I put it for two days, sometimes for three, depending on how bad they are. Then, like I said, this is all crud. It'll come out pretty pretty quick within a day or so. But let's just go ahead and um, go put it into the tank, and I'll show you uh, how I get it done. Now, this is the vinegar you go ahead and use. This is the cleaning vinegar. And you make uh, your little tank like this, like I got. Make sure you pour this whole, whole gallon in there and the rest uh, fill it up with water. But just make sure when you make fill it up with water you leave it where it's gonna go because it's gonna be very very heavy to carry around but uh, this is the one I use and I use the whole entire thing I've already had it in here for about 20 or 30 uh, soaks of uh, cast iron let's go ahead and open it up here's the way it looks it's all rusted up because I've already previously used it let's go ahead and put this 14 inch get it started soaking We had the uh, other one. On that. And on these two I gotta take the I gotta take the wood off of this, the handles. So we'll put that on later. But make sure that's all in there under the water. We'll come back to it. Um, tomorrow to make sure and we'll see how much how clean it is but we'll we'll see you tomorrow and we'll take a look at it <coughs> okay this will be day two let's see how it looks Ooh, it's doing something all that rust coming out now look at cleaning pretty good here goes the bacon. The 
It needs to be, see? Comes right on off. Let's look at the let's get it. Look at that. That's ready to come off. It get cleaned up. The one that I want to is this one. I just need a little bit of scrubbing and it's all I'll be clean. See, we're cleaning it up right here. We'll go ahead and leave it there for one more day. See, this gets cleaned up. One more day of salt. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and do all the scrubbings. you do one of these with vinegar and water you don't have to dump it all the time just keep it I've had this for about three months and it's still doing this job well till tomorrow this is day two well we're on our third day this is what I basically do use when I uh, clean them, you can pick this up at uh, Walmart. They're roughly about two bucks a piece. This one comes with three pieces. This by itself, it's about three bucks. But let's see how it is. Wow, if you notice, all that rust that came off of it since the last time, it shows the whole pattern of the, the skillet, the small lodge and then the big one. This is how it came out. Came out pretty clean. All that rust has came off. No more rust. That's why you don't want to leave it. You want to leave it for a couple of days. Just ready to go in and wash up, right? Here's the other one. You live and let you less scrubbing. This is ready to go get cleaned up. And here goes the lodge. Look how clean that is. Came out like this brand spanking new. It's like, wow, look at that. Brand spanking you. The little rust part right here, and it's gone. You can probably see right here, it comes right on off. I heard something on the camera. I want to make sure that it was recording stuff. Here, like you can see right here, some of the black stuff comes off.
big one. Look at that. Now you can see the boat. This is a little light scrubbing. Scrub a little bit more here. And right here. Roughly the water and the vinegar, roughly for uh, the rust. This cake on, I have to get it off inside. But the bottom is real, real smooth. Scrub a little bit here, and I'll be done. And I'll go ahead and show you inside when I, when I start scrubbing. Now it comes out really, really squeaky clean. And I'll just be scrubbing right here. I'll show you when it gets done. Now we left off at a uh Outside when we were cleaning the scrubbing the, the skillets, and I was showing you how clean it is for uh, soaking them. I soaked them for about three days, and uh, it came out really, really good. You're gonna see it, seen it. These are little scrub brushes I bought at Walmart. They are about two dollars for all three of them. One's uh, silver, one's brass, and one's just plastic. I basically used uh, the silver one. The little edges around it, on uh, the grooves of the skillets or wherever you need to clean. This is a like, more heavy duty scrub. You know, we scrub a little harder into it. And then it uh, takes out the little things. And then I uh, also use uh, the skip, this stainless steel scrubber to scrub around on there. And um, I also use, uh, you know, a lot of people use the little wheels, wire. I don't like using that. So what I end up doing is uh, bringing it in to the, to the kitchen, put them in the, in the sink, and I just started scrubbing it with water. I didn't uh, film that part because a lot of people complain about too much water or this or that. And I also use some, some soap. And then remember, this is bare iron. It doesn't have no seasoning on it, so you have to worry about soaking in it. And it's being it's cold, no, none of that stuff is going to go into the iron. Only when it's hot. So I end up using it uh, Don soap because, I mean, you look, you look at it, you know, they use the Don soap for the oil on the, on the animals. So if it's safe for the animals, it's going to be safe for you. Uh, and this is now paid uh, advertisement for it. So I end up doing all that stuff, and then uh, after digging, you put it onto a. Um, when you finish rinsing it, always rinse it in cold, cold, cold water. Uh, what that does is basically makes the iron cold. That I, I wouldn't in myself. Making it cold and then you put it into your oven. And I have not seen no uh, flash rust come out of it because it's being cold and you, you cool, you know, you dry it up and put it into the oven. I put it roughly about 350 degrees to let it all dry up. And uh, I end up doing that to all the, all the stuff. Put it in the oven for about um, 15 minutes, let it all dry up, brought it back out. Uh, seasoned it. I seasoned it with a. Uh, some of them I've done with, with lard, some I've done with crystal, uh, crispy. Um, and I, then I end up putting it for about an hour at a time at uh, 450 degrees. You have to maintain a 450 to get that burning, burning point. And you get, you see it because you start to see the smoke. Once it starts to smoke, that's what makes the color, the color on the thing, and it, and, and it, and it penetrates that. And then the pores open up. Once the pores open up that cast iron is going to start sucking up that oil. Put it there for one hour. Um, after that one hour, you know, you turn it off, let it cool down. And after it cools down, you know, not not cold, cold, but, you know, just a little heat. I brought it back out, put another layer on it of oil, put it right back in for another hour at 450 degrees. I ended up doing that six times, and um, it came out really good. I haven't cooked on them yet, but let me show you... Uh, bacon presses how they came out here's the bacon press there's a small one and this is the big one it came out really really good 
on there. So I'm really impressed with it. I didn't do the handles. Uh, I just left them alone with that. I'll probably end up doing them later on. But that's how they, they came out. Really good. Now here goes the lodge. Now look at that. How that came out. Really, really good. It's a large S10SK. Really awesome. That's uh, six, six times of uh, heating it. Now this is the best one right here. This is that big one. Look at that. Look how smooth that, that cast iron is. Really awesome. Look how big it is. And look at that. Here goes the bolt. You can see it here. How beautiful it is. I can't wait to start cooking on this one. But you can see the bolt. Big old sailboat right there. You couldn't see it last time. But that's how it came out. Seasoned it six times in the oven for one hour all the time. And you see it's 15 right here. But I really love it. Came out. I haven't cooked it on it yet, but I will do it today. So if you liked uh, what you've seen, subscribe to the channel for future reference, future videos. And if, uh, share with your friends and everything. And I can't wait to see, see you guys next week on the, next, on the show. Thanks for uh, th watching.